Hey folks, this is Russ, Lead Crown, and I just wanted to do a quick Yabo video. Uh, I got a box the other day from, let's see if I can block this off here, from Brian Kane, Metalheady Cigar Guy from the Metal Lounge. And uh, he made a comment about the fact that he put these uh, Wisconsin uh, Huskies, I think that's what that is, on here. And, or I'm sorry, Washington, not Wisconsin. What the hell am I thinking? Washington Huskies on here. And he was a little concerned about the, the condition of this package since they're in the Pac-12. And Arkansas is in the SEC. Well, as you can see, there is some damage to the box. And that, that goes right inside there. So I don't know if that got anything on the inside, but I don't know if this was a frustrated Razorback fan or what, but we're gonna open this thing up and we'll see what happens. And normally I would be smoking something, a pipe or a cigar, but that's what's in here. And so what I think I will do is I will show off something that I see in here at the end of this video. Let me go ahead and crack this open. And while I'm doing that, thanks, thanks brother, uh, for sending me this stuff. Um, really looking forward to what's in here. I, I know kind of what's in here, but not all of it. And uh, boy, this stuff is like athletic tape. It's pretty stout. Oh, God. I don't want this video to be 10 minutes long. Ooh. All right, well, there's there's inside the box there, and we got we got a room note. It says, Russ, here are a few of the tobaccos you're looking to try. Some samples are small, as I was down to the last little bit in my tins and mason jars. Still enough to give you a couple smokes and experience the backy. I tossed in a few extra samples, as well as some cigars. Hope you enjoy. Thanks, Brian. Metal heady cigar guy. So let's see what's, what's down in the package here. Oh, holy crap. Wow, look at that. Little bag of backy here. It already smells good, even from out inside the plastic. Wow, holy crap, look at all this. Unreal. This might be a 10 minute video after all. We got some uh, Altadis uh, Whiskey Cavendish. Altatus or Altatus Amaretto. Peterson Holiday Season 2013. I would I would smell all of these, but it'd just take too long. Some gaslight. That's a specific request right there. Cornell and Deals Mild English. I actually already have some of this, but I'm out, so now I have more. Cool. Sutlifts Lifts Aroma Vita. Okay, I'll smell one. Hmm, it's nice. Cavendishy. Another personal request. Sut Lifts Blend number five. He said he was down to the last little bit on this too, so I'm really happy to get some. Well, it's definitely a Latakia blend. Definitely an Englishy one. Some Escudo Navy Deluxe. Look at the little rolls in there, little cut rolls. Cool. Can't wait to try that. It, it keeps on coming, people. Jermaine's Brown Flake. I asked for the Jermaine's too. Oh, that's got a nice smell to it. There's a little lacky in there, but Virginia. It's nice. I like that. Different. Up lifts French Quarter. Uh, I'm getting into smelling and this video is going to go long again. Okay, that almost smells floral. That's interesting. And then we have MacBaron's H and H Old Dark Fired, and that's H H Old Dark Fired or H and H? No, I've already forgotten. It's one of them. Anyway, Old Dark Fired. Here's so many good things about this stuff. 
really, really light on the room note, though. Considering it's called Old Dark Fired, I would expect it to have been sort of an assault on the senses, but it, but it isn't. Okay, that's pipe tobacco, and that hasn't even touched the cigars yet. Man, I just, just wanted a couple of things there, Brian. That's pretty awesome. I hate the fact that I've just been doing almost nothing but uh, box openings lately. I'm, I'm going to change that, I promise. All right, let's see what we got here. We've got a double happiness. Oh, I can't sit here and smell all of these. A uh, turbo, or G G2 turbo, Edición Limitada 2012. That was a torpedo, the first one was a Robusto. Here's a uh, CAO Maduro in torpedo. A Cifuentes Partegas Robusto. Don't smell, don't smell, just, just move on. And a Punch Robusto. I have not had any punches yet. In fact, I have not tried any of these yet. So maybe I'll just uh, tack on a little bit at the end of the video with me enjoying something from this amazing assortment of stuff. Thanks again, Brian. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it, and I will get with you about getting you something back because a gift like this should definitely not go unreturned. Uh, thanks, guys, and uh, if you stick around for another few seconds, you'll probably see me partaking of something. So take care, everybody. All right, so the Mono Mono Double Happiness did not come in a wrapper in cellophane so rather than put that in the humidor I need a cigar it fits the bill and with it I'm gonna have some fighting cock 103 proof bourbon in some coke technically coke zero but you don't really need to know that right didn't think so so let me go ahead and cut this up And you can wonder what I'm doing off screen as I cut this. The draw is pretty firm. You can tell already that it's a uh, nice light bodied cigar. Not a big fan of firm draw, but we'll see how this is. Toast this bad boy up. Yeah, this is the Monte Cristo lighter that I got for free on that giveaway they were doing about a year ago. Got more mileage out of this thing. Ooh, that's nice. Yep, definitely light bodied, nice. Um, a woody taste. Um, the smoke, the aroma of the smoke is very nice. Got that nice fresh hay kind of, you know, cigar smell. If you've ever wandered into a casino in Las Vegas, you know what that smell is. Draws definitely tight, smoke output's low. I may not have a real good toast on it. Kind of hard to see in the middle of the daytime. I could take more of the cap off, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna live with that for now. got a nice wood, a little cedary note, smooth, a little creaminess in there, body's good. Overall, not bad. So thanks again, Brian, and look, a 10-minute video. Catch you all next time.